गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सर बिना त्रिपाठी वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट वो टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन सिविक्स चैप्टर टू डाइवर्सिटी इन सोसाइटी से स्टूडेंट्स प्रीवियस चैप्टर वन वी हैव लर्न आवर लाइफ इन सोसाइटी एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू डिस्कस दैट डाइवर्सिटी इन सोसाइटी से स्टूडेंट्स सब पॉइंट्स आर गिवन यर जस्ट गो थ्रू दैट टू पॉइंट वन डाइवर्सिटी इज अवर स्ट्रेंथ टू पॉइंट टू द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ सेक्युलरिज्म टू पॉइंट थ्री द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ सोसाइटी टू अवर डेवलपमेंट टू पॉइंट फोर रेगुलेशन ऑफ सोसाइटी सो सी स्टूडेंट्स ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस चैप्टर ओके सी स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर इंडिया कंट्री देर इज ए यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी ऑल नो दैट देर इज यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी सी स्टूडेंट्स डाइवर्सिटी मीन्स वॉट डाइवर्सिटी मीन्स वॉट diversity means understanding that each individual is unique and recognizing their individuals differences okay students so that is we can say the diversity there are many languages religion cultures customs and traditions in indian society this diversity is a mark of our rich cultural heritage we live among people who speak different languages such as marathi kannada telugu bengali hindi gujarati urdu so see students now only i said that is that means in india there is unity in diversity and there are many languages are there religions culture customs and tradition in indian society and also students this diversity is a mark of our rich cultural heritage okay and you all know that we live among people who speak different languages such as marathi kannada telugu bengali hindi gujarati urdu they celebrate their festivals and cultural events in different way that means their festival and celebration also different way okay that is also not same their modes of worship are also different our country consists of regions with different historical legacy where this diversity is shared and celebrated and see students that means different people have different types of their styles are there their languages are there their celebration also there it is not same okay as all these different communities in our country have have lived together for many many years a feeling of oneness has developed among them and this is students a feeling of oneness has developed among them this feeling of oneness lead to unity in indian society and that's why we can say that in india there is a unity in diversity we are different but then also we are one we are indian first okay students and this way students that means as all these different communities in our country have lived together for many many years a feeling of oneness has developed among them and see students this feeling of oneness lead to unity in indian society okay students 2.1 diversity is our strength see students to live with different groups is to experience coexistence coexistence helps to increase the level of understanding among the people okay that means students to live with different groups is to experience we are getting the experience coexistence okay and uh, you know students coexistence helps to increase the level of understanding among the people it acquaints us with each other's traditions customs and way of life we learn to respect each other's way of life and this is students we learn to respect each other's way of life we even adopt certain traditions from others this helps to increase the feeling of unity in the society and because of that when we even adopt certain traditions from others and this helps to increase the feeling of unity in the society students this social unity help us to face many natural and social calamities together and this is student this social unity helps us to face many challenges that is natural and social calamities together and this way we will support each other we will help each other and that is very very important okay students 2.2 the principle of secularism see students secularism means what secularism means no discrimination against anybody in the name of religion we can say the secularism indian society consists of people following different religion our constitution has made important provision to ensure that all 
religious communities will have the freedom okay students to worship according to their faith and to help develop a feeling of mutual understanding and this all have the rights that means all religious community will have the freedom to worship according to their faith and to help develop a feeling of mutual understanding india is an important secular nation of the world we have great linguistic and religious diversity in our country see students we can say that india is an important secular nation of the world and we have great linguistic and re religious diversity in our country in order to preserve this diversity in a sound and a healthy manner students we have accepted the principles of secularism some points are there students accordingly first point no religion is recognized as the religion of our country that means no religion is recognized as the religion of our country next point every person has the freedom rights of worship as per their religion so every person has the freedom rights of worship as per their religion or the religion of their choice they can select any religion that means they can select any religion as per their choice okay next point there can be no discrimination among people on the basis of their religion and nobody will make any discrimination among people on the basis of their religion the people of all religions are treated equally by the state the state will not make any differences next point opportunities for education means of livelihood and government job are made available to all and see students each and every person have the rights to take education so each and every person should have the rights to take education they have the opportunity for education means of livelihood and also they have the rights of government job are made available to all there is no discrimination on the basis of religion and see students nobody will make any discrimination on the basis of religion all have the rights okay next point there are special provisions in the constitution for the protection of religious and linguistic minorities 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 are free to protect and preserve their linguistic and cultural identities they are also free to bring about the development of their own communities through education and this is student all have the rights our constitution are the discussion provisions for the protection of religious and linguistic minorities okay and say students minorities are free to protect and preserve their linguistics and cultural identities they are also free to bring about the development of their own community that they can make the development of their own communities through education with the help of education last point the principle of secularism has helped to maintain religious harmony in indian society okay students this way the principle of secularism has helped to maintain religious harmony in indian society 2.3 the contribution of society to our development what do we learn by living in a society that is by living in a society what do we learn what values qualities do we imbibe let us see how society helps to develop our personality see students cooperation we have to cooperate with each other we have to help support each other all societies are based on mutual cooperation between individuals and the community so if you are living in the society we have to cooperate with each other we have to help with each other and solve each other problems the very existence of the society depends on the cooperation between individuals cooperation is the process of sharing and helping each other in solving problems and removing difficulties say so students whatever the problems are there if you will cooperate with each other our problems will easily solve and this way we have to help each other and uh, share each other that means uh, whatever the problems are there so we have to solve the problems and remove the try to remove the difficulties a family cannot remain together without an attitude of cooperation among its members the same is true of society and say so that means in the society in a family that means a family cannot remain together without an attitude of cooperation among its member and the same is true of society if there there will be lack of cooperation hampers our progress it will not happen our progress 
day to day life will also not run smoothly so cooperation is very very important students cooperation makes interdependence in society healthier and allow inclusion of everybody in the society and it is a progress that is process of inclusion and of moving ahead taking al along all sections of society in this way cooperation play very important role in the society and with the help of cooperation we can make our development also and see students cooperation makes interdependence in society healthier and allow inclusion of everybody in the society and this way it is a process of inclusion and moving ahead taking along all sections of society see students let's say discuss totally cancel our mark with pencil only to read this tolerance and understanding see students tolerance means what acceptance just as there is a cooperation in the society so also at times there can be difference of opinion disputes and conflicts see students that means just as there is a cooperation in the society so also at times there can be differences of opinion disputes and conflicts disputes and conflicts arise when there is a lack of agreement in the opinion ideas and view of the people see students when disputes will arise when people's opinion will be different they will not think the same okay then automatically what happens students disputes and conflicts arise when there is a lack of agreement in the opinion ideas and view of the people prejudice means preconceptions or misconceptions about each other can also lead to conflicts however it is in nobody interest to keep a conflict going for a long time people find a way to resolve conflicts through compromise and understanding and see students that means sir, it is in nobody interest to keep a conflicts or fight going for a long time your people find a way to resolve conflict to solve the problems of what are the problems are there solve that to resolve conflicts through compromise and understanding we have to compromise with each other compromise with each other and understand the problems thus conflicts can end if people make efforts to understand each other and show a spirit of tolerance see students conflicts can end when when people can efforts to understand each others and show a spirit of tolerance automatic tolerance and automatic what happens that conflicts will be came to end and this we have to help that means we have to try to understand and show a spirit of tolerance okay students and uh, an understanding attitude leads to a lot of new learning and this way if you can understand each other that means an understanding attitude leads to a lot of new learning we accept new ideas this helps to future and reach our social life and this way students we can accept new ideas and this will help to further and reach our social life we become more tolerant society provides us an opportunity to learn this simple method of maintaining well-being and peace in society and see students that means uh, we become more tolerant society provides us an opportunity and this way student society provides us an opportunity to learn this simple method of maintaining well-being and peace in the society so students can you do it totally cancel a mark with pencil no need to read this okay can you do it totally cancel an opportunity to perform different roles in society we play different roles and see students in society we play different roles each individual has several roles and the responsibility and duties of every role are well defined and see students each individual has several roles and the responsibility also and duties also of every role are well defined while playing these roles at home or and outside we form bonds with many people and this way students while playing these roles at home or outside doesn't mean that we form bonds with many people however changes may occur in the parts we play and this way students students changes will be occur may occur in the part we play so students try this totally cancel back side also cancel okay students i mark with pencil see that back side 
Totally cancel a mark with pencil. Okay, students. No need to do this. 2.4 Regulations of Society. See, students, in order that society functions smoothly, properly, systematic way, some rules are required. Rules are very, very required. In ancient times, society was mostly regulated with the help of traditions. And see, students, in the ancient times, society was mostly regulated with the help of traditions but in modern times along with traditions laws are needed that means in modern times we can see that along with traditions laws are needed law is different from traditions and customs and you all know that students law is different from traditions and customs the regulation of society through law and traditions is carried out by different organizations and institutions and uh, see students that means uh, society that means the regulation of society through law and traditions is carried out by different there was different organizations and institutions are there the government bodies at the local level also play an important role in the process of regulation of society and see students the government bodies at the local level it also play an important role in the process of regulation of society okay students exercise question number one fill in the blanks question number two answer each of the following questions in one sentence question number three answer the following questions in two or three sentence so see students all these are the assignment i am giving to you as your homework you have to write this in your notebook and read this lesson twice two times properly I hope that you understood this lesson. Thank you.